part two. I'm going to bring it home here. So basically what I was saying was things that we need to instill in our children going forward as millennial parents are things that have nothing to do with materialism. We have to get as far away from materialism as a foundation to our lives and our being as we can. And I said the reason we have to do this is because it keeps you on a, on a treadmill. It keeps you in a rat race and it keeps you truly unfulfilled to keep on overly valuing things that's outside of yourself. All right, and at the end of the day, it always leads to unhappiness, okay? And when you feel unhappy, when you're depressed, that not only leads to mental health issues, but it also leads to physical issues. And so then, in turn, you have a society that is mentally unhealthy, that is physically unhealthy and spiritually unhealthy. Now, a lot of these things can be gotten used to based on the, the fact that it, it's become such a norm, right? It's, it's, it's to a point now where someone who's actually mentally healthy and spiritually healthy and emotionally healthy, not perfect, but fairly healthy in comparison to most people, that person would nowadays would be considered a little out there or off or unusual because now the norm is so sick mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically that, you know, like I said, being a healthier person is considered to be a little unnormal, a little weird, right? So, so guys, what I was trying to talk about is the idea that you know, raising our children up to not be unhealthy, right? Raising our children up to be better people as individuals. Therefore, every child can grow up to be a healthy adult, okay? And that's going to breed, obviously, a healthy world, a healthy society when people are healthier. The reason why we have so much violence, war, chaos, sickness, disease, all these things is because the core of it is the people, okay? It's the people. So if the people change, then the world would naturally have to change. So that's why I'm doing this video, all right? Because at the end of the day, what we should really want for our children and for anybody that we love is for them to just be happy. That's it. So people find happiness in different ways, okay? And so I think about it with my children, the reason why I've taken certain approaches to raising my children is because I ultimately want them to be happy, all right? So I know that if I instill values in them that has nothing to do with anything outside of them, then I know I can give them a better chance of happiness in life. But if I start teaching them to value things outside of themselves too much, then I know I'm setting them up for failure because you may or may not have certain material things, okay? And then even if you do have certain material things, it's usually always an illusion. It never usually makes you as happy as the illusion makes you, I mean, uh, appears to make you think, okay? Like, so, you know, we always, we want this, we want this, we want this. this. Well, then when we get it, it's kind of like, ah, uh, you know, I know that for a fact because I've been there and I've done that and I've seen it. I see it all the time, right? Um, how many people that have a certain amount of materials, possessions, seem to not still be happy, okay? So there's no getting around it, all right? Now, with that said, I'm not saying, like, basic survival stuff. What I mean, uh, that you should just completely neglect that and just spend all your time with the children, right? So obviously we know for most, depending on your situation, if you don't go out and work, your children might not have a roof over their head. They might not have food to eat clothes on their back. I'm not saying that, that, okay, what I'm saying is for most of us guys, there's usually a way that we can cut back on certain things that are not necessary, right? In order to spend more time with our children in order to teach our children interact with our children be more affectionate with our children right 
because most of us, we can use that excuse, so I'm doing what I got to do for my family or whatever, whatever, right? But how many of us are over consuming or going overboard? So if you, what if you can cut back on some of the things that you are indulging in, right? And so therefore you may receive less money. But you may be able to afford yourself more time now to spend with your children, interact with your children, because now you are working less because you require less money. OK. And and then what happens is but this has to kind of has to start early. That's why I say it's going forward with millennials and kids, people who who's going to start having children from here on out, you know, because once you once you, your children get caught up in that game then it's, it's kind of hard to, to go backwards now. So if you already raise your child in a way where or already start raising your child in a way where they going to start, they, they demand certain things from you now, and now you caught up in that game, then it's probably too late. But this is for going forward, and it's to stimulate thought, okay? Because another thing is I'm not taking, this is not any shots or uh, disrespect to any parent's prior okay or previously because things get set into play guys and then once things are already a certain way in society most of us just are on autopilot we just we operate within the parameters of what seems to be normal in society without really questioning it and that's what working and things like that do to us too it's because if you if you if you're constantly busy, you don't have time to really think and, and, and introspect, okay, and question, all right? So this is just to stimulate thought so we can, so it can be put on the table and thus we can figure out if it's, it's a better move, okay? But like I said, guys, um, you breed more loving children, more happy children, children who are happy with themselves, okay, and the things that really matter like family, friends loved ones around them and then they're not dependent their happiness okay does not depend on things all right that they have to be taught that and a lot of it has to do with school with school and things like that because no matter how you teach your children you don't know what the next parent is teaching their children then these kids end up in the same schools okay excuse me and and so what happens is when you have let's say you have a child who it's heavily um, who's who's emotionally damaged. OK, maybe they have a lot of material things, but they never see their parents, you know, or they don't get any love and affection. That is the, the amount that's necessary and required for them to thrive and be healthy. Well, that child may go to school and may act out in certain ways. OK, that may um, that may intrude on other children. OK, but but um. I'm sorry, guys. A little distracted. Car, all these cars coming around. They may get a little distracted, but uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I got a little distracted, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Kids may, um, they may, just, you know, act out in certain ways, okay? And they may make things um, uncomfortable or seemingly uncomfortable for other children, okay? But the thing is, when you bring your kids up a certain type of way, okay? They have a whole lot more confidence and strength than you can imagine, okay? And so don't you don't have to worry about keeping up with the Joneses in that regard. Or I want my child to have this because when I send them to school, then they have to be around other children. And I don't want them to get, um, to, to get teased or anything like that, right? So you have to make that choice, okay? Um, but at the end of the day, you want to uh, you wanna just make sure you know that you instill these different values in your child so they can grow up and be healthier and then they can help other children and the thing about it is the more children that grow up with the right values then you won't have that anyway all right because most the majority will be changed in a way to where no one would uh would would question or or have anything to say or to ridicule or criticize or joke on any other child for not having certain things material things and then like i said if you raise your child the right way your child will know how to offset anything like that because kids will be kids 
And so kids will always find things to joke about. But if you have a child that's secure within themselves, and if you're instilling the right things in them, then they'll always have a response, okay? A healthy response, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what I, uh, but at the end of the day, it's about their health, though. It's about their happiness, okay? And so the reason I said I wanted to do this video, like I said, is because it's going to breed happier people, I guarantee you, okay? It's going to breed happiness, okay? When people are less wrapped up in materialism and the things that materials have you doing, you see what I mean? Like working all the time, um, going into debt, all these different things, and it's, and it's still not fulfilling you. You know, it's not fulfilling you, okay? So we don't want to raise another generation to to have to go through that, okay? Because we see what the generations prior to, to us and our generation, we see what those types of things do, do to, to us as a society, okay? And so when you look around you, let's face it, guys, and I don't care if someone looks overly happy or something like that, as a, as a whole, our society is a very sick society in many different ways i already said it mentally spiritually and physically okay so it's running people down into the ground and people can't last like that okay and that's not what life is meant to be you're not meant to over consume yourself with with um, doing things that in turn get you material stuff that's not going to fulfill you anyway and it's not your overall real purpose for living all right and you can't take any of it with you guys so try to cultivate yourself okay try to cultivate your, your family and 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 have values okay morals you have to reestablish that and put that back in place of materials okay so then we can save an, um, a younger generation from depression from burnout you know, a lot of you guys are experiencing burnout, you know, occupational burnout and things of that nature. So um, hopefully this was a thought provoking video, guys. And hopefully, I, you know, I did a good job of trying to paint my picture. I know I got a little distracted there um, towards the end, but hopefully you get where, I'm, where I was going with this, guys. All right. Peace.